Good afternoon. Yes, it is the afternoon. So with my injury and all, I have not been going to the gym and working out. So now I'm back. I'm going back to the gym. I'm determined to get back to my fitness level or get fit back again. Uh, but this time, I don't think that I will go as hard as before. I just want to reach a fitness level where I'm happy with. I'm not going to be crazy dieting or anything like that. But yeah, since my injury and all, I have not been working out at all. So my fitness level has gone down dramatically and I'm not quite happy with the way my body is now so I'm going back to the gym I plan to go five times a week this month uh, not because I'm pushing myself like crazy I'm a member of Vitality with Fitness First so there is a rebate for going to the gym at least 24 times in 3 months and because of my injury I stopped going to the gym so currently I have a lot of sessions to catch up <laughs> so that's why I'm going 5 times a week this month and yeah I just thought I show you guys how to start going back into working out or how to start working out if you're new and you want to start working out and you don't know how you should do that so I'm going to show you guys that so yeah follow me on my journey to start getting fit again see you guys at the gym here I am at the gym so I usually start my workout with a warm-up session on the treadmill what I do is I'll alternate between a 1 minute interval fast paced walking and running session Now I'm going to find my spot to start my circuit training basically So this is the area in Fitness First Empire where they do all their circuit trainings and stuff like that So yeah, I'm just figuring out where I want to be <laughs> basically that's it Now that I've got myself set up, I'm tying my hair and getting myself ready for my circuit training. Now I start my circuit with a half burpee, 10 reps of that. Now that I've got my heart rate up, I'm going to set up for the next exercise. So with this exercise, I'm just going to put the dumbbell in place because we are going to do a plank row. Is that what it's called? Plank row? You'll see. Usually with these exercises, I like to get in position with a quick stretch and just crawl my way up and then I'll make sure that my body position is correct and here it is! Plank row, dumbbell row Oh yeah, that's what it's called right? Plank dumbbell row So with this exercise, I'm doing 10 reps on each side and the challenge with this exercise is that you want to keep your body in plank position so you really don't want to tilt your the side of your body over and yeah basically just keeping your body in position and then you're going to feel your core burning trust me well my core is definitely burning and hence the need for the stretches <laughs> as you can see it's always good to stretch as well to get yourself ready for the next set of exercise and just take a breather if you need one now we are moving into mountain climbers 20 reps and then the key is try to do it as quickly as possible this is going to also increase your heart rate and then a little stretch again I always stretch and get myself ready for the next exercise the next exercise I'm going to be working on my arms 
and this is called a dumbbell skull crusher. You don't want to move your upper arms and you're just rowing against gravity and this is going to work on your, they call it the bingo wing. And I'm going to be doing 15 reps of this exercise. Now I'm going to work on my chest. I'm going to give my chest a little lift. And so this is called a laying chest fly. We are going to be doing 15 reps as well. Now that I am done, I'm going to set my dumbbells down and I'm going to get in position to work on my abs. I'm going to do crunches. These are not your typical crunches. I actually learned this from a class I took at Chi. You are going to lay your feet straight, engage your feet by pointing it straight up and then you're going to breathe in, exhale and crunch up. All this while, make sure that you engage your core muscle. You're not using your hands to pull your head up or anything like that. You just want to concentrate all of your power from your abs and your core. Next, I'm going to work on my lower abs and this is called a lying leg lift. So this exercise, you want to put your hands in a triangle shape behind your backbone, a lower lower backbone basically. The reason why you want to put your hand there is because you don't want your body to lift up when your leg goes downwards. Hence, you need to make sure that your back is really flat on the floor. And then inhale, legs go down, exhale, up. Now we are moving on to the next set of exercise. These are just basic squats. Make sure that your feet is shoulder width apart and then your toes are pointing straight ahead and then clap your hand to balance yourself and inhale down, exhale up. The one thing you do not want to do with squats is when you are on your way up, don't go all the way and engage your knees because this will put pressure on your knees and it's not good for your knees. When you're going down, the weight should be on your ankle and on your way up, slowly balance yourself. Remember, don't engage your knees. This next set of exercise is going to look a bit weird. This is called a weighted sumo squat. So the dumbbell that I'm using is a 12 kg dumbbell. You can use whatever weight you are comfortable with. You can always start at 6 or 8 kg before you move to 12. But I'm good with 12 so I'm doing 12 and I'm going to be doing 15 reps of this exercise. Now I'm going to work on my arms again. Yes, I know guys. <laughs> My head is cut off. I didn't adjust my camera, so sorry guys. Anyway, I'm working on the front and the side. And that is one rep for me. Normally, people only do on the front, but I do the side as well. Somehow, this gives my arms better definition. So I'm liking this exercise a lot. I've been doing this for a long time. And for today, I'm going to be doing 15 reps of this exercise. Now that I've completed my first set of this circuit training, I'm going to take a 30 second break and then I'm going to do another set of all the circuit training one more time. After completing my second set of circuit training, I'm going to do my cool down stretches. So far, I've been doing very well with this set of exercise. I don't really have much pain the next day. Uh, I think the biggest contributing factor is that I always do stretches. Uh, I always cool my body down and also I do not push my body too high. 
In the beginning, you really, really do not want to push your body too hard because you don't want to put your body under stress. I think that's my biggest advice, guys. So remember, do have a exercise that you enjoy and then do as much as you can. And after that, do some stretches, cool your body down and then go for your shower. Alright, that's it for today's workout. Remember to click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more workouts from me. There are going to be lots and lots and lots more video on my workouts. Also, I'm doing Project M, M for Minimalist. You can check that video out after this. I will link it at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going on And now I know I'm better sleeping on my own